when I got the email, I was dancing all over, and people were like, what is it? Did you win the lunch? And I'm like, no, I got the space. I got a location for GT Food Affair. And they were wondering, what's the big deal? I was like, OK, I will share my testimony really soon. The experience this year was awesome really awesome. The experience on both days were quite unique. It looked like it was a mini city on its own. It was just like a family outing for a lot of people. Different people from different backgrounds, walks of life, different characters that all came into one environment because of their love of food and drink. At the end of the day, people with different needs had, you know, their needs being met on the one roof. I was actually scared really that nobody would buy my mask. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we, we did good. We actually sold out and luckily for us, we had colleagues who were also exhibiting and we were able to get some things from our other colleagues. We never knew we could sell that much, even though we were even tired of selling. But there was a time that people were coming and they were like, we need food, we need food, we need food. You can imagine some people that the chicken is still on fire, the ribs on fire, I'll wait, can I pay? Can I just pay up front? And the second day we thought we were prepared to, we ran out. I was a bit disappointed that I couldn't meet, you know, the demand at the fair. A friend of mine said, there's no vendor exhibiting here that can satisfy the crowd in this place right now. And I really agree, because it was cute at every booth you went to. All the packed masses that we took there, we sold out everything. And even the second day we sold out, you know, and people wanted more. Other people were, you know, supplying cakes and confectionery. Um, and yet people were still coming to our store and their store. So every, you know, there was love for everyone. We had to shut our store on Sunday because we didn't have enough staff to run both places. We sold about eight times, actually it was more than that, about 12 times what we usually sell on a Saturday in store at what we did at the, at the fair. If I had more food, I would sell more. The sheer number of people, the sheer number of sales, it was unbelievable. And I always say to think that we did that for free I can't get over it. I don't know the idea. I don't know. I'm not even sure. I've been waiting for you to take some money, but I don't think they can money from my account. I don't know how, but I have all my money in my account still. It's the best thing that has happened to us lately. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but no vendors have to pay to be a part of food and drink. It's free. We did not lobby. We do not know anybody. So it wasn't as though, oh, I have an uncle or something, no. It's literally about what they're trying to do, which is creating a platform and showcasing different enterprises in the country. And the first thing you notice when you come in is, wow, Nigerians are, are enterprising, seeing the number of businesses there. You know, it was very encouraging. You know that you have a lot of colleagues. I was just like confined in a little, you know, get to know just top people in Calabar, but with this food fair that GT Bank has organized has thrown me out to the world. I don't know the idea behind, yeah, I know it's promoting enterprises and stuff, but this way, I, I don't know why they haven't given any money, I don't know. But I'm, um, like, we thank GT Bank for this opportunity. I did get connected to a few suppliers. Apart from in setting up the urban gardens, I needed organic um, fertilizers. And I call up Quay Farms, Quay Farms do. They say they're selling neem extracts. I'm going to need some of that. Snail is something that you always have to go to the market and haggle and haggle and haggle. But from that event, I already have, a, I have two suppliers from the GTV. And you just bring it, I call them and you bring it. That easy. It was like a little ecosystem of farmers, you know, interacting, sharing information, helping each other to grow. I saw the strength of the people I work with. It was. I saw them work, so I like that I, I got the opportunity to see how good they work. So yeah, thank you GT for that opportunity. But the uptake of the product has increased, um, especially when they say, oh, we've just come back from the GTV food and drink show. <laughs> so um, people respond positively to that. So, I mean, we're riding on two waves here. We're riding on, you know, Yes Chile prior to the fair and Yes Chile post you know, the GT Fair. So that's worked really well for us in terms of building up awareness, um, improving our um, credibility. We've had people call us to make orders even after the fair. And the first thing they say is, oh, we met you at the GT Food and Fair. So these are people who are doing repeat business. Our phones have been buzzing. 
Instagram, we've got more followers on Instagram. This platform has helped me with a wider audience. I feel like it was a very niche group that really understood what I did and um, got to really see what I did and interact with what I do. This gave me the possibility to spread what it is I'm trying to do here in Nigeria to a wider audience. I thought people would have sold out to say, um, we've made the money for the year. And I agree. It may not have been a lot, it may have been a lot, but I feel like we've made the money for the year. It's not just about the money, it's the everything, the calls we've got afterwards, the tags, people tagging us and making videos and saying it was worth the wait. People doing all this stuff was enough for the year. Like, it's enough for the year. We can all just chill. You know, we're going to say, let's just chill for like a month. But yeah, we can't do that. I need to pay people. So yeah, it was, thank you, GT Bank.